When Billy Preston was in high school, he was already built like he was NBA ready. I mean, this guy was 6 foot 10 with guard skills, and he was a lockdown defender. He just gave you the best of both worlds. You can even compare him to Kevin Durant, due to the fact that they're both 7 footers with a guard like Handle. And even though I don't mess with KD like that at the moment, I gotta admit that he do be clamping people up. But anyways, back in high school, Billy Preston was a 5 star recruit and he had all the top schools trying to sign him. But after a long recruiting process, he ended up signing with Kansas University. With him teaming up with players like Devontae Graham and Malik Newman, he was just that extra piece that they needed to take the team to the next level. But unfortunately, everything didn't go as planned. He was under investigation by the NCAA and he was sidelined the whole season. And ever since that incident, we don't hear about him hooping as much as we used to. What happened to Billy Preston's basketball career? What's good everybody? Welcome back. We just recently hit a milestone of 25k subscribers. I appreciate everybody showing so much love to the channel man, it really means a lot to me. Now it's just time to shoot for that 30k subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. And make sure y'all follow my social medias too, I'll be responding to all my DMs so just hit me up. And last, if you're into gaming, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I want to get to at least 100 followers before my first stream, so hopefully we can make it happen. I'm gonna leave all these links down in the description, but enough of all that talking. Let's get into this video. Billy Preston is a California native who actually played for four different high schools. He played for St. John Bosco, Redondo Union, Advanced Prep International in Texas, and last his senior year at the Great Oak Hill Academy. I'm guessing he was just trying to find the right school to play against the top competition. Throughout those four years, he has teamed up with a lot of great talent. Players like Mark Vitale who plays for Baylor, Terrence Ferguson who's become a big piece for the Oklahoma City Thunder right now, and last Trayvon Duvall just to name a few. I made a video about what happened to Trayvon Duvall's basketball career, make sure y'all go check that out. But anyways, like I said before, he played his senior season at Oak Hill Academy. If you don't know already, Oak Hill Academy has been one of the top high schools for basketball for decades. They've had about 20 to 30 players to make it to the NBA, and there's no telling how many players they had that went D1. This is probably what interested Billy Preston the most. First of all, he was playing against the top high school competition across the nation, and even though he didn't need it, he was getting more exposure. He almost averaged a double-double, putting up 15 points and 9 rebounds a game. But I don't think these numbers do him justice on how productive he was. Just his overall presence on the court really made him a game changer. He was also selected to play in the McDonald's All-American game. For any other hooper, this would be the time to just soak everything in. All the hard work and sacrifices it took just to get to this level. But Billy Preston was just thinking far ahead of everyone. Days before the McDonald's All-American game, he was already studying his future team at Kansas. He was watching them play in the March Madness tournament and they ended up taking a big loss in the Elite Eight. This just left him in shock. He watched his teammates make big comebacks and knock down big shots all season long. But unfortunately, Kansas just went cold at the worst possible time. As soon as the game ended, he was messaging players on that team. He was just trying to cheer them up basically because they did have a good season besides that huge loss. He was even trying to recruit people too. One of his main targets was his high school teammate Trayvon Duvall. But even though he did all he could to try to persuade him, Trayvon Duvall still went off to play for Duke. So even though this let Billy Preston down a little bit, he was still ready for the upcoming 2017 through 2018 season. But when it actually came down to their first regular season game, he wasn't even able to play. A couple days before, Billy Preston had gotten into a car accident. Thankful that nobody was hurt, but the car crash still was reported to the administration. They sat him out because Kansas was seeking a clearer financial picture on the car. Basically, they were saying that by the appearance of the vehicle, he was definitely making way too much money to be on scholarship. Now, there has been so many debates about how student athletes are treated by the NCAA. The NCAA makes so much money off these players and the athletes don't get a single dime. And I know there's people that's always making comments about how they get a free education. Most of the time, people that say this are jealous, but they do have a point. But how are they supposed to concentrate in class? if they're exhausted from basketball and this reports that they even have a limited meal plan so the fact that they won't even let him have a car is just crazy i'm a college student myself and i even get tired of walking to class every day so imagine being sore after hard workouts and still have to make trips all the way across campus that's just crazy 
While everything was being sorted out, he had to sit out for the next 16 games. After a while, he just became fed up with the situation and he decided to go play professionally over in Bosnia. At this point, he just wanted to get on the court. It didn't matter where he was, he just wanted to actually play. He said it was weird adjusting to the play style over in Bosnia. He's used to playing very aggressive, but in that league, it just wasn't allowed. He was just picking up way more fouls than usual. And also, he had to get used to being coached through a translator because he only he spoke English. For the three games that he played, he ended up averaging seven points and four rebounds. He was actually dealing with some shoulder injuries. So after only three games, he felt it was best if he left his Bosnian team and come back to the States. When he came back, he went undrafted in the 2018 NBA draft. But the Cleveland Cavaliers felt that they saw some potential in Billy Preston, so they signed him to a two-way contract. Knowing what he'd been through with the NCAA and not being able to play, things were starting to look better for him. Even though he wasn't officially on the roster, we assumed that he was at least gonna get a chance, but that just wasn't the case. Unfortunately, he ended up getting his contract waived without even playing a single game. As for now, in the present day, he is playing for the Dallas Mavericks G League team. Hopefully in the near future, an NBA team will pick him up. I just feel like this guy has a lot of potential. With his frame and skill set, he can do damage if put in the right system. But I don't know what the future holds, so we just gonna have to wait and see. Peace. I gave him hope, said he named me the GOAT Them youngest drowning fast and I'm trying to keep them afloat I'm the one you know them killers protecting me like the Pope Got a voice, you better speak, opportunity not to choke Them youngest misguided, it ain't a joke Look up to all the shooters, they ducking from all the smoke Got them shirts with R.I.P., never listen, that's the result